Right chaps, so this is how you install the Football Manager 2022 Sound Pack Mod. So the first thing that you want to go and do is go and download, if you haven't already, the Football Manager resource archiver from Steam. Um, once that's downloaded and installed, you'll also need to download your mod version um, and just place it on your desktop like I've done. Next thing to do is create yourself a folder called Old. This is where we're going to extract all your current Football Manager files from so that we can keep it for, for later use in case you ever need to go back to it. So once you've opened your resource ar archiver you want to be going to extract an archive so where you want to be looking for that is in your C in your program files Steam Steam apps common Football Manager 2022 data right so the first thing the first one that we're going to be extracting is the sim uh, sorry SI match viewer PC so if you load that now where you want to be putting that is in the file that you've just created which is your old one so you just click so don't go into the file just click on the old press select now what that's going to do is that's then going to extract all of your current football manager settings data whatever it is that you've got in there um, on your actual desktop so this is going to be your actual copy of it that you're not going to edit you're not going to change you're just going to keep this one just simply for in case you want to revert back to, to your, your previous um, settings or previous files that you've had once that's extracted you're then going to go back in to extract archive you're then going to do SI match you're going to load that one and you're going to put it in exactly the same folder so once you've done that, you'll then have in your old folder your SI match, SI match viewer PC. So just keep them out the way. Then what you're going to do is you're going to create a copy of that folder to put your new files in. So I've already done a copy. So we've got the copy. We're going to open that up and it's exactly the same, identical. So now what we're going to do is with our downloaded files, we're going to extract them. So once these files then extract, what we're then going to have is we're going to have a new SI match, an SI match viewer PC files. All we're going to do, quite simply, is take two sets of files from those that have been downloaded. So the, the first set of files you're going to be taken from your new downloaded ones are going to be the events ones from SI match and the audio so once that's downloaded so we've got our copy ready we've also as well now extracted our files so now we'll go into our extracted files we go into SI match events copy the events folder go back in to your SI match exactly the same and paste replace the files in the destination that's the first one done go back out in your old SI match viewer back out in your old SI match viewer now the audio copy paste now this one, because this this one has got all of the sound files in, which is, I believe at the minute, about 1.4 gig at the minute. So this is the one that's going to take, a, well, it might take a minute, it might take two minutes, three minutes to transfer over. Um, but that's the stage that we're at at the minute, so you're basically transferring everything over, and you're going to replace these files. So as you can see, from that transfer, the only two things we've changed is the audio, the events. Once that's done, you can now close them two down, because now what you've got in your copy is your new setup. So now what you're going to do is you're going to create an archive. You're going to go to your desktop. You're going to go to your old copy. You go in there, 
into your SI match viewer select now where do you want to put it what you want to be doing is taking this all the way again back to your desktop because what we want is we want to see them both there so that we can then recopy them um, onto obviously in the, in the actual in your data um, so if we go into your desktop so this is where we're going to save it to your desktop so not in your old not in your new not anywhere else it's just going to be saved onto your desktop so we then create this one now obviously that this one that we're creating straight away is, is your bigger one so that is the one that is obviously going to be uh, take a little bit longer than the other ones the other ones only a, a tiny file compared to your actual audio sound ones now once that's created you'll then have as you can see popped up SI match viewer PC now this file is then going to be going into your data that you've just extracted it from so we'll wait for this to finish extracting it should only take literally a couple of seconds because then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating this another one for your SI match events folder now by this time we should literally have just two files on our on our desktop so we'll, nothing's changing there nothing's changing there all we're doing is ju we're just creating an archive from what we've added in from our slim down events now unfortunately this is the only way i believe that we can actually do it where everybody's files are staying exactly the same apart from the only thing that's going to be changing within the game is how the events work and what sounds are going to be triggered from that so we then obviously create the next archive which is just the SI match one create that same place under our desktop save done so that's both of those now created so what we want to be doing now is copying these two files or even cutting them now what we want to be doing is going into our data file so our data file is going to be your PC, your local disk, your program files, your Steam, your Steam apps, common, Football Manager 22, data. And all you're doing is pasting those into there, replacing, and as simple as that, that's it done. So now, once you've done all of those and done it that way, you will now have, hopefully, fingers crossed, the perfect working version of the soundboard.